All right, welcome everyone to another edition of American Soccer Break. I have Rahi and Roy, and we have huge news. I mean, you know, it, it's it's big. However, whichever way you want to cut it, whichever way you want to cut it, um, you know, Messi joining MLS. Quick thoughts on this, guys. I'll let you go, Roy, because I know you're you're insanely excited about this. Yes, and I know Rahi is not because since the World Cup. He's been a messy hater. Before the World Cup, he was a messy hater. It's one of those guys that think Ronaldo and versus Messi is still a conversation to be had. No, he's that ridiculous. Is not true. Okay, let me give my point. So, Messi coming to MLS is absolutely monumental, as most of you already know. It is equivalent to Pele coming to the NASL, except now we have a healthy league that could su- survive past the Pele era. So we could grow from it now. Now, what does it mean for this game? First of all, when Pelé came, let's look at that. He sold out every single stadium he did too. Same thing is repeating now. He is going to sell out. He's already sold out every single game he's going to play in for the entire season, including games he's not going to play in. People bought the tickets thinking he's going to play. His presence is going to attract other big stars, which is amazing for the game, amazing for the growth of the league, amazing for the growth of its players. But third, most importantly, and Rocky's probably going to reject this because he doesn't understand the emotional aspect of this and what it means for the next generation of players. When Pelé came, he influenced a generation of players. Simple as that. What happened in the perfect amount of time after he came? The 1990 generation of U.S. soccer, the team that qualified for the 1994 World Cup, the first actually stable and good U.S. men's soccer team. Who do we have? Joe Max Moore, Caligari, Harks, Friedel, Dooley, Balboa, the father of the child, Claudio Reyna, uh, Ernie Stewart. These guys came from that generation. These guys grew up watching Pelé in NASL. Yeah, so let's let's talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about that. And Roy, I don't disagree with you. First of all, I will say Messi is the greatest player of all time. We can agree on that. Thank goodness. But I will tell you that him coming is very different from Pele coming because the maturation of the soccer audience in the U.S. is at a very, very different point. At that point, soccer was being brought to the country. People had no idea what it was. Pele brought it in, and, and all of a sudden you had people getting interested in the sport. We're at a very, very different place. All the young soccer fans in this country who watch the Premier League, who watch Barcelona, who watch Real Madrid, who have rooting interests, all of them do not care about this move. They understand mm, nope. it's big for Messi's personal brand. It's big for Inter Miami as a club. They're going to make a ton of money. Yes, they're going to sell out games. But the connection between Leo Messi and MLS is tenuous. He's going to play for Inter Miami. They're going to buy his jerseys. But that connection people aren't going to make. And the connection between Messi and American soccer is also not one that people are going to make. Honestly, people don't really care about the fact that he's playing in the U.S. in the sense that he is going to be watched, yes, and people are going to follow the Inter Miami Instagram page, but they're still going to be supporting Manchester United, Real Madrid, Barcelona, watching the Champions League. The sophisticated soccer fans in the U.S. understand that this is a beach time move for him. This is, I'm at the twilight of my career. I want to relax. I want to chill. I want to come to a place where I can expand my brand and to a really bad team, by the way, who just fired their coach. But I, I want to be part of the American culture. They're not sure. going to care about his impact on U.S. soccer. Yeah, here's, here, here's, here's, what, I wanna, here's what I want to talk about. Here's okay. what I want to ask you guys specifically. This is the question because, look, at the end of the day, we our focus is the U.S. men's national team and U.S. soccer as a whole. I want to ask, will this move help the U.S. men's national team program? And, and that's where we saw Steven Gerrard come. We saw Zlatan come. We saw now, granted, Messi's the GOAT. He's the greatest of all time. He's at a next tier from these players. But I didn't see a tangible impact to U.S. soccer from a grassroots perspective or to the to the national team leading all the way up after that. Does this change that? No. One the answer is it doesn't change. One million percent. One million percent. Let me tell you why. What did we yell when we were growing up playing basketball, when we're shooting a fadeaway? We yelled Kobe. We grew up being influenced by the greatest player of that generation. Kids grew up watching him. Kids grew up loving him. And many became pros, many played college, etc. Now, Messi is playing in the domestic league. 
He's going to be all over Sports Center. He's going to be all over television. He's going to be in the faces of the entire American audience because MLS will make sure it's in everyone's faces. Apple TV will make sure it's in everyone's faces. Rocky, you said that these kids are already huge fans of Premier League. They're watching. They're not. They're not. I coach hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kids every week. None of them watch soccer. They like players, but none of them are watching soccer. Now they're going to watch. Now they're going to want to go to the game with their friends. They're going to do class field trips to a game. They're going to be exposed to Messi every single week like never before. They're going to be inspired. We're going to get a new generation of playing soccer, more interest than ever. The problem isn't interest. Soccer is a massive youth sport in this country, a massive youth sport, right? So that hasn't been the problem that people aren't interested in soccer. It's the development as they get older and the desire to stay in the game and then go professional in this sport because the infrastructure doesn't allow for that. It's not about interest in soccer. Think about how many kids you grew up with that played youth soccer, AYSO. Every young kid is put into programs to play soccer. It's, it's always been and it continues to be. And it, yes, it will continue to grow in, in terms of a youth sport. But that's not solving the problem for is there infrastructure, is there development as they get older. And I really don't think we're at the stage in soccer in this country where interest is a problem, is a serious problem. It's sophistication. It's infrastructure. It's maturity of the soccer ecosystem in the country. It's not just generating yeah. some buzz, selling some jerseys, selling some tickets, bringing a star. It'll make some it's money for David Beckham Rocky. or into Miami, motivation. but it's not going to affect U.S. soccer. Yeah. Rocky, it's motivation at the end of the day. What are they striving towards in MLS? Today, nothing. With players like Messi and the Cassie's going to bring, they want to play with Messi in that league. They want to play with all the players that are coming to that league. That is no, incredible they motivation. They want to go to Europe. That Their goal is to go to Europe and make money. Messi's going right. to make a ton of money. They're not going to make the same money here, right? Until yeah. that changes, there's no difference in motivation. Yeah, you want to play with Messi, but your salary's not going up. You, got, you, guys, can, you guys are going to be debating You guys are going to be debating this the whole night. The only way we're going to tell is once he actually comes here, we'll see and go from there. But I think, you know, regardless of the way you cut it, will it help our team? Will it not? We're about to find out, boys. We're about to find out because... In 20 years. We'll find out. I mean, they're going to sell a lot of jerseys. It's kind of a pretty <laughs> yeah. jersey. I kind of like the pink. It's Miami pink. I think it's a pretty jersey. Road it's trip uh, Road trip to Miami, everyone. So, All right. Um, let's go see them for ourselves. How will we do that? $700 we'll... tickets, guys. You guys got $700 for the well, tickets? Well, 18,000 seats in Miami have been sold out <laughs> for the year. So, so you know, that's a lot of ticket sales. But yeah. Uh, everyone, just enjoy your week and we'll... Come at you guys again. Messi coming to the to the MLS. And, you know, if he could only transfer nationalities and play for the U.S. national team. But, all right. See you guys all next time. The first Ballon d'Or winner in MLS. He will be an Amazing. MLS player when he wins the Ballon d'Or. Amazing.